you can't handle gross things, then don't watch this video. In this video, guys, I'm gonna be reacting to calculus removal. So prepare your eyes. Things are gonna get gross, but also satisfying. Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I'm a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan. Toothbrushing, I mean, pretty much everybody mostly does it every day, but not necessarily everybody. Do you brush your teeth? Because I know I do, at least twice a day. In fact, sometimes I even go three, four times a day. It's not recommended to go more than like three just because you really have a chance, right, of like overbrushing and then essentially you actually make your teeth go away. Like you actually, it's called abrasion, for example. So brushing too much is actually not a good thing, especially if you're brushing hard. There was one gentleman that we had no. who hadn't brushed his teeth for 20 years. 20 years? Dang, bro. I can just imagine. How is the smell, bro? Like, like how does this person live? But look, guys, you know, we can't judge anyone, though. Like, we don't know the circumstances of this person. We don't know how they grew up, how they were taught. We don't know what circumstance they're in. We don't even know if this person has a toothbrush to begin with. So, you know, you got to take all those things into consideration. This gentleman had dental wow. phobia. He was afraid to go to the dentist and he was even afraid to brush his own teeth. Well, there we go. Now we know a little bit of the story. I don't know where this person's from. I'm guessing America since this person, this dentist seems to be an American. 20 years of not brushing your teeth and not going to the dentist because of a phobia, right? And this is, this is real. This happens. This is something that we have to be on alert, especially myself when I become a dentist, you know, but very interesting to see, very interesting uh, to learn about. And guys, if you want a better toothbrush, a very soft toothbrush, one that actually is good in regards of removing a lot of caries, not caries, bacteria, and also that's a very soft, that's actually good for your teeth. Link is in the description, guys. Seriously, this will save you. In fact, I asked him how he was able to eat because his teeth were so heavily caked with tartar that it seemed wow. like, well, how is this fellow going to be able to eat? He said, well, he just has soft food that he can kind of mash in his mouth. Dang, well, man. Imagine living like that, guys. Imagine not being able to eat a steak. Imagine only eating mashed potatoes because that can that's soft. And then just eating stuff that's just super liquidy or soft. Like, dang, man. And you know, we humans, we love crunchy things for some weird reason. We love the feeling, the texture of crunching food. And this person probably can't have that. So do you guys know that if you don't floss, like you can brush your teeth all you want. But guess what? Most likely your breath still stinks. Uh, why? It's because we have bacteria in between our teeth. So flossing helps get rid of that bacteria that are in, uh, in between of our teeth. The toothbrush itself is not effective enough to actually brush in between our teeth. That's why flossing is very important. That's why even if you floss, you can still get cavities in between your teeth, even if you're an excellent toothbrusher. So that's why it's so important to floss in between your teeth and not just brush your teeth. So we wow. removed all of that tartar we did it under wow iv sedation so he was asleep so nice and he was so this is after this is after the calculus removal such a dramatic change look at that you can see the teeth now you see those two front teeth that have holes in there that's a cavity of course now these are i would say they're class fives um it took a long long time hours and hours to remove dang the cement like tartar Hey. So we, I, I've barely removed calculus so far in dental school in my first year. I know I'm going to be doing a lot more, especially when we move on to clinics in my third or fourth year. I had no idea it took hours to remove this level of calculus. Because the ones I've done was just very little. But dang, hours. Couldn't bring himself to brush his teeth or take dang. care of his mouth. And was causing other problems in his personal life. I don't want to go into detail, but that's the case. I can only imagine, man, if you're walking around with calculus like this to this degree, I would imagine you can't have a proper social life. One, you're probably not smiling. You're probably not showing yourself in front of people. Just not even be able to eat and enjoy the food of life. Yeah, things are just way more complicated when you are not able to show your teeth. Um, so, yeah, that's why it's so important, guys. That's why I'm so happy to be able to one day help people with their teeth, right? Giving them the smile they want, helping with their old care and giving them the confidence, right? To go back in the world and go do what they love, you know? So this is this is awesome to see. Seeing this patient go from like calculus, not being able to really have a life, and hopefully this patient has a life and is just absolutely happy, you know? 
it saved his teeth and it changed his life. Yes, it's changed his life. Man out of him. I'm sure that this is not common in dentistry like this to have this severe of a calculus, but it's definitely out there and it's definitely possible, right? All right, so now we're gonna go see some examples of actual tartar removal calculus. We call it tartar or calculus, you know. I personally call it calculus, but you get the idea. <laughs> so let's see some calculus removal. So this is known as a cavitron, the instrument that is being used here. Um, essentially, it's just high pressured water, essentially, like coming out. And also it vibrates that sickle that you're seeing there, like very fast, that uh, it just breezes the calculus. It removes the calculus pretty easily, I would say. Like when I used I only I only got to use it for literally one minute, bro, during sim. So I barely got to even really experience it. But the little I experienced it, it was absolutely amazing. So yeah, you just use this instrument. You don't want to touch the gums. And you just drill away. Not drill away, but vibrate away. Mm -mm. Yeah, you can see how it takes a while to remove it. Because I can see that this dentist is not only just putting the instrument on there, but the dentist is actually having to put some pressure on it, you know, to get rid of it. Very nice to see. So this dentist is trying their best to stay sub gingivally. They don't want to be touching the gums. They're trying to stay above the gums and just slowly chip away at the calculus. Yeah, I know you see this, you see the gums here. They're, they're, they're hurt, right? They're damaged because that calculus was just sitting on those gums, not letting proper oxygen reach the gums and just slowly being inflamed and just not being well taken care of. So the gums are going to be inflamed. They are going to be red. Um, you know, some skin layer is going to be gone because it's going to have to heal. So this is calculus, guys. Very satisfying to do, I will say, uh, especially when using the Cavitron. Now, here's another video of calculus. This one's very intense, for sure, too. If you don't remove the calculus well, it can lead to severe infection and tooth loss. Because, yes, because, you know, calculus isn't meant to be there. And it's just bacteria there, staying there forever, for a long time. Look, it may look gross, but this needs to be done. This has to be removed. And yeah, guys, that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Guys, let me know what you guys want to watch next. You know, feel free to subscribe. Turn on that notification, that bell. Click on it. Yeah, link is in the description if you want to buy some merch. And guys, if you want a better toothbrush, link is in the description, guys. Seriously, this will save you. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, guys, don't forget to smile.